Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chira. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to configure static routing, a step-by-step -step tutorial. First of all, create one topology with two routers, two switches and four PCs. Now, assign the IP address to all the PCs as per the given label. Next task is assign the IP address to the router interface. Now check the interface. So here both the routers are connected with the fast Ethernet 00 interfaces. So same way check the other interface of the router. It is FA01 which is connected with switch. Same way check into the router 1. Now router 1 other interface is FA01 which is connected with the switch. Now click on the router. Go to the config. Click on the fast Ethernet 00. The IP address is 192.168.1.2. Now port status is on. Now click on the fast Ethernet 01. The IP address is 192.168.2.3. Again port status is on. So now same way configure the router 1. Next task is check the connectivity between all the PCs. So take one simple PDU, click on the source and PC1 is the destination. Now you can check here it is successfully transferred. Now again take one simple PDU, PC0 is the source and PC2 is the destination. So it is failed. Now same way take another simple PDU, PC1 is the source and PC3 is the destination. Again it is failed. So now we can say PC0 and PC1 are in the same network and PC2 and PC3 are in the different network. If I want to communicate with the different network PCs, I have to configure a routing. So first of all, what is routing? Routing is a process of selecting a path to transfer the data from source to destination. So there are two types of routing. One is the static and second one is the dynamic. Here I am going to configure static routing on both the routers. First of all, what is static routing? In static routing, a router uses a manual configured route which is pre-configured by the admin. Let's configure static routing on both the routers. Now click on the router 0. Go to the config, click on the static routing, enter the network address 192.168.3.0. Why it is 3.0? Because I have to add other network which is not directly connected with 2.0 network. Here, I am manually added network. It creates a static route. Now enter the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and the next hop is 192.168.1.4 because packet is transferred from 2.0 to 3.0 network using 192.168.1.4 IP address. Now click on the add button to add this entry into the routing table. Go to the setting and click on the save button. 
to save these changes in startup configuration of router. Now same way configure router 1. Now my both the routers are configured with the static routing. Let's check the connectivity of PC2 and PC3 from PC1. So I am getting the response from PC2 and PC3. Same way check the connectivity from PC2 to PC0 and PC1. Again I am getting the response from both the PCs. Now I can say my static routing configuration work properly because I can access PCs from the different network. If you like this video please hit the like button and share with others. Subscribe my channel Chirak Balodia. Thank you for watching this video.